Hi there, this is Joe at Capstone Framing. I'm going to take you through the process of framing up this original painting on board by Rachel Sim. So I'm beginning by trimming my board to size. It's a level two conservation grade board and I want to line the frame with a linen. So I'm applying some EVA to the board before I put my linen down, which I'm going to weight down with some books and then I'll trim off the excess once that's dried. Here I am repeating the process of applying the linen to the spaces. The spaces will keep the work to the back of the frame. This is necessary to keep the artwork away from the glass as I'm float mounting the artwork onto the linen board. So I'm mounting the painting onto a piece of 5mm foam core board which I've cut just slightly smaller than the outside size of the painting itself and I'm attaching that to the board using a cotton rag archival museum grade tape which needs activating with a little bit of water and I'm just going to hinge that at six points around the artwork. Now the adhesive's dried on the board I'm just trimming off the excess linen here. Again I'm using an EVA adhesive to affix the work in place onto the backing board. It's time to cut the frame and I'm using an oak moulding. To do that I'm using my Morso guillotine which gives me a nice clean cut. Now I often glue and clamp my frames before joining to make sure that I get nice clean tight corners. It's time to use the Morso guillotine again to chop the spacers that I prepared earlier that are wrapped in the linen. Next up I'm going to join the frame using oak corner splines. To do this I'm going to use my biscuit jointer to cut slots where I'll then place in oak wedges. This provides a nice aesthetic feature to the frame as well as ensuring a crisp sharp join. I'm now going to mask the face of the frame so that I can apply a white liming wax into the grain on the edge of the frame. I'll do that liberally using a rag and carefully wiping away any excess. Once that's had time to dry I'll peel back the masking tape to reveal a nice subtle contrast. I'll now carefully chisel back the splines flush to the frame to reveal the nice bare oak. Time to cut the glass. I'm using uh, an art glass, clarity glass, AR70, which comes with 70% UV protection and the art back. Here I am cleaning the glass with a rag and a specialist glass cleaner, just making sure that's blemish free before the work goes into the frame and the space is going in to make sure that that work is recessed to the back of the frame when it goes in. I fired my frame as points in now to keep everything held in place. Now I'm using gum tape to seal up the back of the frame. The hangers are on and the felt bumpers applied to the bottom corners to ensure airflow around the back of the frame. And there we are, framed to level two, conservation grade and looking very elegant indeed. The linen adding some deckled texture, the warm tones of the oak and the liming wax and the edge grain all working together quietly to complement this lovely little painting.